Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am in my 2015 Audi Q7. And if you can see it, I have my OBD11 scan tool reader thingajig thingamajigger. Anyway, I'm going to try to see how hard it is uh, to do an app thingamajigger. So I'm going to start with, basically that's key on, pushing the button. Um, I don't know what's doing. So, let me see, garage, go here. That's my wife's phone. Um... I don't even know where to even go. Main, maybe. Let's try connecting. Uh, password. I don't know password. Six. Um. Dang it! I don't remember. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Uh, let me let me see if I can uh, remember my password. I'll be back. Okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I remembered it or not, but it's saying, oh, it wants me to scan. Exclude scanning. So it's going to scan all the stuff, but anyway, so this is basically what it looks like. So you have pre-programmed stations in here, and you can scroll through them all, but you don't have, like you can't, so you can't go to individual channels. So those are all the presets, um, let's go to functions, maybe you do have toning, tune, tuning, whatever it's called. Set as preset. Oh, you do have it. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I'm a liar. Okay. Well, I got it then. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, that's one of the, kind of the uh, reasons I got this thing was because of that tuning thing. But, just so happens that uh, you just need to be looking for it, I guess, or, I don't know. Anyway, uh, oh, HD radio on, uh, HD station information, station names, delete presets, yeah, I don't know. There's so many weird things this stupid car man um one of the reasons why i got this little obd 11 thing is because i wanted to see if i can do other stuff because like my uh when i looked at my brother's car or my brother-in-law's car you can set it to where the blinkers you know they instead of just flash they like swoop i guess you know, right or left, or left or right, whatever, however, or you can have half of it blink, and then half of it blink. Um, his his car's got a lot of setting stuff in here. And, uh, yeah, so, I kind of wanted to do, I guess, a YouTube channel with Volkswagen stuff, because my, like I said in a previous video, my brother-in-law's got his Audi A4 and he's got a Volkswagen e-golf electric golf and then I have friends that have he's got a uh, TDI wagon Jetta TDI wagon he's got another Jetta uh, my sister-in-law's got a I think she's got a G TDI wagon too a Jetta so um, I was gonna start doing like a either a new channel or 
something else, and uh, that's what leads into maybe getting rid of my wife's car. I was thinking about getting her an Audi A4. Um, again, we had Audis before. Um, I don't mind Audis. The parts, I guess, are kind of expensive. It's just the older Audis with all the plastic vacuum lines. That's my biggest problem I had with her old Audi. Um, and her block did have a, uh, a casting hole. So there was a, a hole in her block, a pin, pinhole sized hole in the block and it was leaking and I replaced everything, cam seals, crank seal, front, front and main seal, front and rear main seal. I did everything, valve cover gaskets, everything on her car siliconed everything, cleaned everything, and it just kept leaking. And uh, finally we put some dye. We put some dye in her motor and uh, found out it was coming from the side of the block um, under, I don't know, it was passenger side cylinder. It was a V6, 2.8 liter. And uh, yeah, so we had that issue. And uh, we also had a 2004, 2004 Audi A4 with a CVT transmission. And uh, yeah, don't buy anything with a CVT transmission if you can. Those CVT transmissions are junk. Um, I have read and have watched um, other channels. Uh, and I can't remember his name, Scotty. Something the guy that says rev up your engines. Anyway, he's like the only like honest mechanic that I watch on YouTube that I trust because he's kind of just blunt. He's like me off camera. He's just uh, you know he tells the truth how it is. But anyway, uh, yeah, he he says that there's only a couple like Toyota. Dang, was it Toyota? Maybe it wasn't Toyota. No, oh, yeah, it was Toyota and Honda. They build. Honda makes their own transmission. Toyota makes their own transmission, I believe. Their CVT. And then, like Nissan, they buy their transmission from. I don't even know. Swap meet. <laughs> Not really, but uh, yeah. And it's just junk. But anyway, I don't like CVTs. I'll never own a vehicle with a CVT, no matter how far they advance. Um, I take that back. I will try my hardest not to buy a CVT transmission. But anyway, um, yeah, this thing takes forever, apparently. So I'm trying to, I'm just trying to kill time. It's just scanning two, two out of 29. So transmission control module, it's scanning, I guess. It found four problems, which could be, this thing's weird, this, OBD-11 is kind of weird, like it, if the car isn't running, uh, stabilization control fault, see owner's manual, so it's scanning all this crap, popping up all this other crap, so hopefully I'm not wrecking it by scanning the stupid car, um, anyway, yeah, it scans all this weird stuff, so since the car's not on, it's probably got, you know, uh, four codes because the car's not on. So, who knows? But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to let it scan and uh, do some other stuff, and I will get back over here. Alright, well, apparently you need internet, so I got a hotspot open you saw my password what's going on here so I'm just gonna let it do its scanning um, hopefully it'll go a little faster since it's got internet um, it looks like it is apparently you have to have internet to run all the stuff because I'm already on five. So, lesson learned. If you're gonna do this, 
have the internet because I guess I didn't have good Wi-Fi from the house, so I turned on my mobile hotspot. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, I did do a service reset that you can't do um, via the car. So um, next inspection, ten thousand miles, three hundred and sixty-five. That's my next oil change. That didn't change. You can see that. I got 8,300 miles left um, on the oil change. Next inspection is 10,000 miles. Um, because every time I'd start the car, uh, it always say service due. And I tried everything. But anyway, I guess you can change that with this. You can go in here and do the service due instead of taking it to a dealership. I couldn't find any other way. I uh, looked it up. Had to change that. I couldn't find a way. So that's another reason why I bought this thing. So that I can do stuff that I don't have to take to Audi. However, I would like to take it to Audi or Volkswagen. And uh, have them do a service flush transmission service or flush whatever they freaking do. So it's running all kinds of weird settings so. As you can see, I'm a 22 to 29. Long, boring video, but... Oh, jeez. Um, I don't know. My first time use of this thing. Well, I played with it to get credits. You gotta... Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna mention. To get credits to buy apps, to buy stuff, settings, I guess. Um, you can either buy them. Um, I've been watching videos, commercials... I've been doing whatever. I had 125, but to reset the car, it took uh, 10 of my credits. So you can get five credits a day. Um, you can get five credits a day. Uh, one credit will be just for logging in. You'll receive a credit. And then you can watch four videos. And you can get five credits a day. I thought it was five videos, but uh, apparently it's just four videos. And one day credit. So it did say uh, uh, earlier when I scanned it, it said uh, I had like 16 codes. Oh, so see, three faulty control units. Um, I want to see what they are though. But it says problems eight. I don't want to... So in here, I guess is green is is your good. Um, green is go, gateway, that's all signals and stuff, seat, adjustment, driver side, and faults, oh, not that. Oh man, let's go to faults. Uh, so basically I don't have the seatbelt on, so it pulls up a, a code. Saying that I don't have a seatbelt on and somebody's sitting here. Um, what else we got? I don't know what 7F, I don't know what all these are. But, um, seat adjustment. So we'll go here, we'll go to faults. Front in Information display, head unit, no signal, communication, media player, position 2, position 3, position 4, navigation system with CD drive control, uh, telephone, transceiver. Basically it's saying, because I'm not using it, it's not showing it. So, but you can go in here, hold to clear three of these. It clears them, tells you whatever. Um, yeah, I don't really know. No faulty codes. So, problem zero. Oh, I don't want to exit. So, uh, yeah, you go here. You go to wallet. Um, so I minus 10. Daily bonus is one. You come in here. You go to the get free. You can buy 10. 10, 100, 500, or you can use a code. I just go here, I watch a stupid commercial, 
to get one credit for free if it'll load. Sometimes it doesn't load and says there's a server problem. It'll pop up down here, server problem. Um, but anyway, um, I think I paid like 75 bucks for, maybe it was like, I think it was 75 bucks. So here's a commercial. <clears throat> so you watch it, 10 seconds, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, it was like 75 bucks or 70 bucks for it. You get the Pro, which is all unlocked. Otherwise, you can buy just a scan tool for like 40 bucks. And then for like another 20 bucks, you can unlock it. So bonus credit added. So one. Um, I'm going to try doing this app again. Apps. Um, I want to do this one, but it's telling me I can't for some reason. Value not changed. So maybe go to off. Oh, it's working. It's working. So I don't know if it's going to cost me 10 credits every time I do this or what. So turn on or off needle sweep. Okay, so let's see what it did. I'm going to turn the car off. Okay, do this, and, oh wow, no needle sweep, <laughs> um, okay, let's try it again, so I'm going to turn the car on so it's connected, I'm going to go to on, Okay, it's working. We'll see. We'll see what it does. This is a long, stupid video. Anyway, it says success. So. Oh. Yep, works perfect. Anyway. Maybe they need some work, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, no needle sweep. Anyway, charge me 20 credits for something that doesn't work. So, um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. It's a long, boring, stupid video. Um, I apologize for it. Didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. I will, however, try to do my garage door. I do want to, I really do want to get the garage door so I can start pulling it in the garage. But, I'm gonna drop one phone and drop the next phone. But anyway. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm, I'm over it. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, comment below. Let me know how stupid this video is and how it's kind of a waste of money. But anyway, alright guys, later.